हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ अकेडमी इन रोटेशनल डायनामिक्स स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट इज वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन डिराइव द मिनिमम स्पीड एट द डिफरेंट लोकेशन व्हेन देयर इज अ वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन इज गोइंग ऑन एट द टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव द मिनिमम स्पीड एट डिफरेंट लोकेशन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स अ बॉडी रिवॉल्विंग इन वर्टिकल सर्कल इन द ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड ऑफ द अर्थ इज सेट टू बी परफॉर्म वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन so first what is vertical circular motion you have to write the definition a body revolving in a vertical circle and when the body is revolving in a vertical circle in a gravitational field of the earth is then we call as vertical circular motion it is we, uh, that is the definition of vertical circular motion consider a particle of mass m attached to a string and revolved in a vertical circle of the radius now students this is the mass of the particles and this is the string now it is revolving like this understanding under the effect of gravity so now we are going to see the velocity at different different position now what happens students before going to the velocity first you see kinetic energy and potential energy at the top students the kinetic energy will be half mv a square at the top of the students you are getting maximum kinetic energy that is given by half mv square and the time potential energy is equals to, equals to mgh here h is nothing but students radius plus radius that is 2r at the top students you will get half mv square and the potential energy will be mg yes that is 2r understand that is the diameter of the circle of this circle now what happens students at the midpoint students you will get kinetic energy will be half mv vc square at this position what will be the minimum velocity what will be the minimum velocity at point c this way we can calculate the kinetic energy understanding students the kinetic energy will also changes that means the it depends upon the velocity at the point c at the midway at the midpoint now what what happens students potential energy now here students only r is there so the potential energy will be mgr understanding at this position now at the bottom students what happens you are, i mean here the potential energy will be zero big understanding students potential energy is what zero but here will be the maximum kinetic energy understand is kinetic energy half mv vb square the, at the bottom at the bottom students the kinetic energy will be half mv square so students we are going to see at the top of the point a that that is why here the velocity is very important at the point a at point c and at point b so now we are going to see the students we are going to find out the velocity at the point a at the top of the point a now students at the when this bob is particle is raises at point a now which are the forces are are acting on this particle strings that means that there is a tension of the string that is called as ta and there is a gravity will also act on this particle that means these two forces will combine ta plus mg which is equals to centripetal force understanding students so here ta plus mg equals to mv square upon r that is the centripetal force the tension ta becomes zero now what happens students here when the tension ta becomes zero what happens here the centripetal force is equals to that it is equals to the mg it is equals to gravity mass into gravity now mass mass will cancel students so v square equals to rg now v a that is minimum velocity point at point a this is the position at point a students and this is position at point c and this is what your position at point b understanding students these are the positions when it is revolving in vertical circular motion so your minimum velocity which students at point a will be square root r g to so root of r g you can say so velocity minimum velocity at point a will be root r g that is why velocity will play very important role here now students at the bottom point b at the bottom now we are talking about the velocity at point b when the particle which reaches as point b now here we students which are the forces which are acting tb towards the center now there is a tension of the string towards the center now here the, yeah and gravity will be opposite in direction that means here you have to subtract tb minus mg which is equals to mv and there is a centripetal force also there that we are calling centripetal force is balanced by centrifugal force that is why it is coming in circular so mv square upon rg understanding so tb minus students minus is very important because they are in opposite direction so tb minus mg equals to mv square upon r understanding
now students what happens now decrease in gravitational potential is converted into kinetic energy understanding students so here students we are kinetic energy at b minus kinetic energy at a equals to mg h yeah, so that is here it is what it is equals to 2r now you have to take half common you are getting mv square minus mv square equals to mg 2r now what happens students this mass will cancel you are getting v square v square v minus v square equals to 4rg understanding this two will multiply it will convert into what 4rg now v square v minus v square a velocity at position a you are knowing you should know students velocity at position a you are knowing that is root rg so square root of rg if you make it square students it will convert into what rg now here you have 4rg now students v square v minus rg equals 4rg now what happens this minus 4rg will go on that side it will be added understand this means so velocity at point v whole square equals to what it, it is equals to 5rg plus rg that is 5rg so v square b v b square equals to 5rg now this square will go on that side it will convert into what square root that is 5rg this is the minimum speed of the particles understand this means at the point b this is the minimum speed so this way we can calculate the kinetic energy at point b understand students so you should know the velocity so this is the minimum velocity to which particle will revolve understand students now students we are going to see the velocity at point c and d now here total energy at c equals to students total energy at b understand students you know total energy at c is equals to total energy at b now because energy is conserved now what happens how you are going to find total energy at c students that is half mv square plus mgr which is equals to what energy at b understanding students energy can neither be created nor destroyed so it is converted into at b so half mv square now put the now you know the velocity at b is what root 5 rg now put these values here you will get students 5 upon 2 mgr that means half mv c square plus mgr equals to 5 to mgr understanding students now what happens students half mv c square plus mgr equals to 5 mgr understanding now what happens students this you have to multiply 2 on both the sides so this two will cancel here you are, it will becomes two times mgr and here this will cancel and you are getting 5 mgr because you are multiplying both the side by 2 understanding so you are getting now what happens to students this plus 2 mgr will go on that side 5 mgr minus 2 mgr you are getting 3 mgr understanding now mass mass will cancel so now you are getting the velocity at c equals to 3 rg understanding now what happens only the velocity this is the velocity square now we want what velocity only so velocity uh, at point c will be square root of 3 rg which is equals to velocity at d understanding students so this is the minimum speed of the particle students so this way students we can calculate the different different velocity at different different position if you know the velocity students then only you can find out the kinetic energy understanding so these are very important students these are the expression of the velocity at different different position in world when the particle is performing vertical circular motion these are very important for the examination point of view please if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you